guys, Afmao here, and welcome to Pixelmon Pokedex Conquest. Now, today we have quite a lot to do. So, first off, in the last episode, we were able to get Magikarp, and of course, we evolved it into Gyarados. Not just any Gyarados, mind you, we evolved it into Zombie Gyarados, so now we're going to go around and destroy the world. Maybe we'll be able to take on that giant tentacruel forming. Of course, it's going to take a while for it to form, but not too long, so hopefully we'll be able to see where that storyline goes in the near future. Um, so let's go ahead, and I'm standing on Zombie Gyarados. This is, uh, ooh, flying is not enabled on this server. Well, Zombie Gyarados, if you had a problem with me standing on you, you should have said so instead of kicking me off the server, you jerk. Anyway, alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So the next Pokemon that we're going to be catching is Lapras Ditto, Eevee. Of course, I know you guys are looking forward to that because we got the evolutions that we're going to have to be doing, evolving, all that kind of crazy stuff. So we have a Firestone, we need a Thunderstone and a Waterstone. So since we're going to get Lapras, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try to get a water stone while we're looking for Lapras. Now, Electrode is going to be a Jerkosaurus Rex, or a Derpazard, and it's going to try to destroy us, but no, we're, we're, not, we're just going to say, no, Electrode, stay away, we don't want you right now. We can also take Zombie Gyarados um, to the ocean, because I have a feeling that he's going to come in handy, especially when we're kind of surfing around. Um, we might want to take Blastoise, actually. I don't know how Zombie Gyarados is going to fare over there, but it's all right, it's all good. We'll see exactly how he works. Um, so we have only... I'm gonna have to go digging eventually for a bunch of materials because Porygon's coming up. We're gonna have to spend a very long time crafting and crafting PCs just to get it. Um, I said this in the last episode, Porygon pretty much spawns... Um, if you craft a PC, he has a 1% chance of spawning. So I don't know how well that's gonna go over. Um, probably lots of cuts. And for the Helix Fossil, I think we're going to have like a special event where I battle somebody that just comes on um, and has a Pokemon battle with me. So I think that's what we're going to do for the Helix Fossil. Unless we come across like a, um, unless we come across like a crazy Helix Fossil just sitting out of the middle of nowhere. I mean, that would be phenomenal, but highly unlikely. Okay, so let's go ahead. Zom Gyarados, let's, let's get going. Um, I have a feeling you're going to do very well in the water. Let's find out. Oh, look at that. Look at him go. Look at him do such a good job. He's, he's swimming all over the place. All right. Um, I actually have a feeling that Charizard might be a lot better just for overhead scouting and actual going under. Yeah. All right, Gyarados. I know you tried your best, but return. You retrieve Gyarados. All right. So let's put Derpazard out and go look for a Lapras. See if we can find one right off the bat. Look how s he was so bright. He was so bright. He had like a nice little tan going with the sun reflecting on him. Okay. So if we press F3, we'll be able to see... Oh, so Deep Ocean's right uh -huh. here. So Lapras... Lapras should actually be around here. So let's take a quick look. I think Blastoise would be much uh -huh. a, a better... Um, a better choice for this kind of stuff. Keep an eye out for a Lapras because I personally don't see them. And I know they have like an, a decent spawn rate, not like a crazy one. But they're, you know... They're, 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 they're okay. They're, they're not like crazy spawn rate kind of, um, oh my god, Instapop kind of thing. Unless, like, an Instapop's gonna happen very, very soon. Um, now, let's talk Lapras, because from what I remember, I think Ash got Lapras in the Orange Island, uh, series. And I, I think that was... Now, I don't recall this very well, because for some reason, I thought that the Orange Islands, um, on Kids WB was a part of the Johto uh, arc in the series. There's a bunch of tentacruel over there, jeez. Seedra, I see you, Seedra. Where are we? Are we in the, uh, we're in the ocean. Okay, let's go take a look around. Um, so I thought for the longest time that the Orange Island uh, was a part of the original uh, Johto series, but apparently it's not, or it wasn't. And that confused me for the longest uh -huh. time because I know they brought Tracy in. And I have a feeling that they were... Now, this is just a rumor. I'm not sure how true this is if you guys want to confirm this for me or not, my Pokemon experts out there. Um, but they there's been rumors that apparently Brock was too uh -huh. offensive. So they decided to try out Tracy for a while. You know, Tracy joined as the third. I cannot find this Lapras for the life of me. But Tracy uh -huh. joined for a while, and I have a feeling that they were just using that to test 
the waters. Ha <laughs> ha! Because Orange Island's surrounding water stuff, you know, cool. Um, anyway, so I don't know how true that is. If you want to confirm or uh, deny, then let me know. Let me know how, if that's true, that maybe that might be the reason that they wanted to kind of... Is that a leper over there? I see it! Oh, it's a spawn! Oh, so many leprosons! <laughs> Ah! We should talk more about the Orange Island because look, it attracted the Lapras. No, slow bro, go away! I don't want you. All right, sorry, I got a little bit excited there. All right, so let's get the let's get whatever Lapras we can get. All right, so let's use a Great Ball. Let's just go for it. And if not, then we'll bring out Zombie Gyarados and we'll get our 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 attacking on. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Ah! That was so easy. Oh my gosh! All right, now we have Lapras. We can head on back home. Let's do that right now. Um, teleport to Bam. Uh, Lapras is now off of our list. And and Gen 1, of course, Lapras does not have a evolution. So now we have Ditto, and Ditto spawns in the savannah during the day, which thank goodness it's still daytime. So let's go ahead and head on over there. Um, waypoint Savannah. Teleport to. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Now, Ditto, of course, doesn't evolve, but he can transform into every single Pokemon. And I believe we're going to be needing Ditto to get... I forget if it's Mew or if it's Mew 2, but we're going to be needing Ditto uh, for one... I think it's the cloning of Mew 2, so we're definitely going to be needing Ditto for that. So let's go ahead and see if we can find a Ditto just, like, lying around here. There's an Arbok, and for some reason I thought it was a Dratini. I'm not sure why I thought it was Dratini, but it's Arbok. It's not Dratini. I was going crazy. All right, so let's see. Unless it was like a ditto, just like out in the savannah going, um, doing some really weird ditto stuff. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and continue. Um, ooh, there's a Flygon over there. Check that out. Uh, ooh, what is that? 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 Is that a boss? Oh, that's a Scyther. Oh, that's a big Scyther. Look at the big Scyther. It's a, the mommy Scyther and the baby Scyther. They're so cute. All right, Charizard. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to look for a ditto right now. Um, all right. Now, Ditto, I remember from the episode with the crazy magician girl, Erica, I believe her name was. I don't think it was Erica, now that I think about it. It was something with a T. Um, anyway, Ditto was, like, having an issue trying to change its face. And I guess the episode had, like, this overarching, like, be yourself kind of thing going for it. But I don't think it was executed very well. Even back then, I wasn't really, like... Like, I, 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 I like the story, but I guess just the fact that Team Rocket made Ditto. Is that a Ditto? No, that's a freaking Slowbro poke. Sorry, Slowbro poke. Slowpoke bro. Slow king. It's king of slow poke bros. Poke bros. Oh my gosh, why hasn't anybody made like a guild of poke bros? That sounds really cool. All right, so it's taking a while to find this Ditto. So I think what we're going to do... Oh, and, and the episode, the episode basically, Ditto finally learns how to change his face for the sake of Team Rocket not punching him in the face. So, I guess, moral of the story is, you should change if people are going to punch you. That's not true. Never change. Be awesome. Change for the better, change for the good. Don't change for the bad. Change for good things. Don't change for bad things. Like, getting punched in the face. That's a bad thing, but I'm just going to stop talking right now. All right, so we're going to go ahead, and it's getting night, so we're going to go ahead and skip to the part where I can actually find a ditto. All right, so there's got to be, like, literally something around here. It's been day for a while, so let's see. Oh, that is, oh that's a ditto. I thought that... Okay, all right, that one, that the Nidoran looks like a freaking ditto, but all right, there's a ditto right there. Hello, ditto. You're a nice... You're actually a nice little level there. Look at that. You this took you a while to spawn, you silly little... Little... It looks... <laughs> I can't get over the texture. Oh my god, it just looks like it's got like a bunch of fat rolls on it. Oh, it looks like the Pillsbury Doughboy in my opinion. Look at that! Come on. Oh my gosh, it's sliminess. It's, I don't even know if that's slime or like jelly. Um, alright, so... Oh, I don't want to kill it, that's right. <laughs> I had a... Let's not... Let's not kill the thing I've been searching a few... For a few days for. Let's, let's not do that. Transform. We're, we're ditto. Transform into nothing? Transformed into air? Don't do that. That's that's not cool. Dusk ball. Wish I, I caught the ditto, like I had the ditto around dusk. That would be really good because it would make that ball much more effective. All right, so ditto, you're giving us a hard time. Let's go ahead and use Lapras. Now, let's use um Confuse Ray. Confuse Ray had no effect. What? 
Yeah, no, fit. Okay, all right. Oh, I guess, yeah. Mala what? All right, let's go ahead and use... You tackle Gyarados softly, though. Okay, all right, good. You did a good job. So proud of you right now. So proud of you. I can't even see where the ditto is. It just transformed, and, like, it's nothing now. I don't even... Oh, my gosh. All right, Scyther, come on. It's your turn. Let's use, let's use that false swipes. Let's put that false swipes to, to good use. What? Wait, what? No. False swipe. Why isn't it hurting Ditto? Dusk ball. Go. Use the Dusk ball. I have to go get more Pokeballs. Seriously, why isn't it? Okay. Alright. Cool. Cool! Okay. Okay, I'm not even mad. I ain't even mad. I ain't even... I ain't even mad right now. Nope. Not at all. Uh-uh. -uh. A little bit. Just a tidbit nip. <laughs> I swear, these Pokemon that have, like, the, like, the, I have the most difficulty catching are, like, the worst. Oh, my gosh. All right, Gyarados, come on. Just. Oh, my gosh. Why did I give Ditto this power? Last Dusk Ball. Then I'm going to have to go back, and I'm going to have to get more Pokeballs. Ditto. Oh my god. Alright, so just just destroy it. Just just destroy it. Alright, good. Alright, so we destroyed it. So let's go ahead and go back home. Just got owned by that freaking Ditto. Wow. Now, I don't know if Ditto takes on the level because it didn't. Now, you guys have to let me know. I don't know this about Pixelmon. I did not get the chance to look this up before I filmed this episode. But I'm not sure if Ditto takes on the level of Charizard or if he just um, takes on the... Let's see. What do I have in here? Do I have anything? Oh, those are aluminum ingots. That's right. I need to really use those and put those to good use. Um, let's see what else I have. Oh, I have some coal so I can go ahead and get some, uh, some lovely uh, regular Pokeballs. So... I don't know if Ditto takes on the person, like, the, the level of the Pokemon, or if he just takes on the form and all of the moves. I mean, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. We'll figure this out together. In the meantime, let's go ahead and grab everything that we possibly can. Hello, Mikey. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh, let's grab all these Pokeballs. We got 16. Um, let's grab a Great Ball, and let's go ahead and get a... Let's see, what do we want to get? Let's get a... Um... Huh, what do I want to get? Let's get a love ball, why not? Let's get some love balls. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go farming quite a bit. So let's go to the Savannah teleport and see if we can find us another lovely ditto. I know it took... <laughs> I think the part I'm most upset about is not the fact that I lost it, the fact that I wasn't prepared first off, and the fact that I spent a little while looking for it. So, hopefully this time it's not... Doesn't take... Is that a ditto? <gasps> That's a ditto! Yeah. Oh, ditto. Is it the same ditto? No, it's a level 42 ditto. Oh, ditto. <laughs> This is this is gonna this is gonna hurt me you the most. It's gonna hurt me and it's gonna feel really good. So let's use Dragon Rage. Awesome. More Dragon Rage. Awesome. All right. So let's try a regular Pokeball. That was fast. We found the Ditto faster than I did last time. Um. Very good. Very good. Very good. Use Dragon Rage. Of course. Of course. Of course. Use my own moves against me. Why don't you? Great ball. Go. Did you can find a Ditto? Are you serious? All right. Oh, I forgot to poke heal my Pokeball. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Pokeballs, regular Pokeball, go. Maybe if I use a Love Ball, Ditto will fall in love with me, and and everything will just be perfectly fine. Let's see. Ditto use Wing Attack. Oh my gosh, Ditto! I, I swear, it's just it's it it, it gets crazy. Look at that. All right, come on, Pokeball. Charizard fainted, and now it's up to Scyther. Scyther! Come on, Scyther. Or, actually, I can't blame Scyther. It's just, he's... he's. Ugh, I swear this ditto is going to be the bane of my existence. I don't want to go home. I want to go to the Savannah so I can just sit down and... and I swear, I'm going to have some... I'm going to have some jello later, and I'm just going to eat it in front of ditto. I'm just going to be like, Mmm! This jello's so good, ditto! 
This Jello's so good. Oh, look, you look like Jello. This is Jello here. All right, come on, Ditto. Come on. That that spawn was so easy. That spawn was so easy. This one, this one's gotta be. Oh, 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 oh. No, that's not a Ditto. That's a. F I hate the Nidoran. I, I, the Nidoran males. I, I don't like them because they're just, they just look like Ditto. There's lots of lovely Scyther here, so I could have come here for Scyther. I just didn't. So if you're looking for Scyther, you don't know where they are. They're here in the savanna. There's also in the jungle too. So check that out. Um, let's see. Come on, just one more Ditto. One more Ditto. Ditto, Ditto, Ditto. Ditto. Ditto, Ditto Queen. Hey, what are you doing here, Ditto Queen? All right, so let's go ahead and do that cut to where I actually find Ditto. All right, oh, Needle King, Needle King. Pfft, this is a Ditto and again, level 32. All right, at least it's not 42, so let, let's give this another shot. Now that I got all my Pokemon healed up, I got Pokeballs. I'm lacking a Great Ball, but that's okay. We want to catch it with a, um, let's see. So let's go ahead and, what, we don't want to do that. We want to fight it. So let's bring out Scyther, Scyther, and um, let's use False Swipe. There we go. All right, more false swiping. There we go. And also, we are going to throw this Pokeball, which I hope works for the bajillion time. It's not true. It's not the bajillion time. But, yeah. We want to see if we can actually catch this freaking... What? Go, Pokeball! Come on! Seriously! Oh, my gosh. This episode's just going to be me catching a Ditto, isn't it? Seriously, it's just going to be me catching a freaking Ditto. Oh my gosh. <gasps> and I got an achievement of 40% complete of the Pokedex. Alright, so that was like the most frustrating thing i mean there have been pokemon in this series that took a whole episode to catch venomoth we also had mr mime oh my gosh i don't even remember all the po i don't want to remember all the pokemon that took forever to catch but anyway guys we can officially go back to our home and knock off the block with um <laughs> Knock off the block with Ditto. So in this episode today, we only caught Lapras and Ditto. But you know what? In the next episode, we have Eevee, we have Jolteon, uh, Vaporeon, and Flareon, which means we're going to have to catch three Eevees. So that episode will be all for Eevees. And of course, Porygon and Ammonite. So guys, in the comments below, be sure to leave a suggestion for how you want me to earn Ammonite. And maybe even Porygon if we have a hard time with the PC. I don't think it's going to be a big deal with the PC, especially if I just go and farm a lot of materials. But anyway, guys. Whoa, Twitch broadcasting. No, we're not doing that right now. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Pixelmon Pokedex Conquest. Remember, if you enjoyed this episode, to leave a like and a comment. And I will see you in the next episode. Until then, take care. Stay safe. Bye!